In this video, I'm gonna show you a simple system to easily create and publish daily social media content that you can implement into your business in an hour. I'm gonna show you how to collaborate with your team of editors using frame.io, how to finalize and schedule that content in a tool called Airtable, and how to post that content manually or using auto posting with a tool called Metricool. Now, my name is Stephen Pope, founder of The Content Engine, and over the last couple of years, I've helped hundreds of personal brands and content agencies streamline and automate their content systems overnight. Now, typically your process is gonna start in frame.io where you can upload videos and collaborate with your video editors. But I'm going to start in Airtable because this is really the backbone of your organizational system. Inside Airtable, you are going to be able to store all of your content. Airtable really acts as a spreadsheet on steroids. You have rows and you have columns. And what you can see here is that each piece of content in my system gets a unique row. And I always assign each row a unique ID so I can identify it in the system or when I'm talking with my team. It also helps when you're running automations and you need to reference your content in external systems. But if you want to build a system like this yourself, you're going to want to sign up with Airtable and then you're going to want to create a table here where you can store the video thumbnail, the file name, a link to the video, the video title, a field where you can write the copy description or caption for a post. Remember, if you post a vertical video to TikTok or to a place like YouTube, you're gonna have to give some sort of description of the video. And I also include a column for artwork where you can upload thumbnails for platforms like YouTube. And then I also create a publish date and time field so I can schedule my content. And then I also created a status field so that I can keep track of the status of any given piece of content. Now, one of the most important parts to this system here is that each of these rows is created automatically for me. You can imagine if you have to come in here and create a row, upload a thumbnail, add in your own link to a video. If you notice, if I click this, it's gonna take me right to the video. If I had to create each of these rows manually, it would create a lot of overhead. So the way I get around that is by creating a zap automation that automatically triggers from frame.io when I approve a video. So what you'll see is that I automatically create a folder in Google Drive, I upload that file to Google Drive, and then we create that row in Airtable so that we don't have to to do it manually. And so you can see here, every video that comes into the system gets its own folder, and then the video is automatically stored and linked back into Airtable. So then when I click this button, it opens right up. So now that we covered the basics of your Airtable database, and we'll go through more of these views here in a second, let's go back to the beginning and talk about how we collaborate with our video editors. So I'm back here in Frame. Frame is a application that allows you to upload videos, collaborate with your video editors. When they upload a video, you can make comments visually just like this, and then you can add something written and then those comments will show up on the right side here and your video editor is gonna be able to click on these and see exactly what you want them to do. And then they'll be able to upload revisions of those videos. And as those revisions come in, you can actually stack them on top of each other so it can keep track of different versions. And then as you might expect, you can go back and forth with your editor. You can continue to leave feedback using the controls here. But if you are done with the video and you approve it, you can come up here and approve the status of that video. And at this point, this is where the system will trigger an automation when that status is updated and the status is approved. You see I have a filter here that makes sure that the status is approved. It will go ahead and create that Google Drive folder. It will upload it into that folder and it will create that Airtable row. So you can see we just had this video come in right here. If I open up the details of this record here, we can see that it was created just a few seconds ago. It automatically added in the file name, moved the status to video approved. It included the cloud link to the video and it also added the video thumbnail. So from here, we can go ahead and add a title to the video and we can add the description. And if we had a thumbnail, we could add that here as well. And then we can add in a published date and time. I also have a couple of different views here on the side as well. Views in Airtable really are just filters. If we take a step back and explain a little bit about Airtable, Airtable is just a spreadsheet on steroids. So you can see we have a lot of rows and then we also have a series of columns. And the only thing different about each of these different views is what filters are we using using to control what data we see. You can set up different filters here that only show specific types of content. And you can also use different types of visual views like a calendar where you can visually schedule out your content. Here I can just drag and drop different videos onto different days. And what these views really do is it allows you to create workflow with your content. If I jump into the content inbox and I take a look at the filters here, it's only showing us the rows where the status is not published. So here we can see all of the 
the rows in the system where content has not been published. In this publish manually section here, we can take a look at the filters and we can see that it's only showing content where the status is manually published. And we have a few automation views here, which I'll show you in just a bit, which only trigger when we have selected the status to be auto post auto list or auto post schedule. And so if I come down here to C18, the video we just uploaded, I could say, let's go ahead and publish that today on Sunday. You can see it moved into this upper section here and that's really controlled by these groups here. I'm currently grouping this view here based off of whether it has a publish date or not so that when I give a publish date, it separates the content that has a publish date from those that do not. It also sorts them in a specific order so I know exactly when they're gonna be published. So from here, if I'm gonna publish this content manually, I can go ahead and come over here. I can go to manual publish, in which case I should see this over here. So on any given day, I can come to this view here. I can see all of the content that I've decided I'm going to publish manually. I can see the date and time for when it should be published. And if it's today, I can go ahead and open up that video. I can download it and then I can publish it using the title and description and artwork here. So now I'll go back to the inbox here and I'd like to show you a couple other automations. So I do have two views here, which help us do auto posting with a tool called Metricool. Metricool is an auto posting platform that allows you to set up auto lists. An auto list is really a place where you can upload a lot of videos and it will just start to publish one video at a specific time on a specific schedule. So you could upload a bunch of videos and at 1243 on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, it will publish one video. It also has a more traditional calendar where you can schedule a specific video to go out on a specific day and time. And the way this works in my Airtable system, and you can copy this if you'd like, is all I have to do is go to the status here and move this to manual publish. And once I do that, it's going to show up in this auto list view here. And once it enters this view, another automation will trigger. Let's take a look at it. So what this automation does is it triggers when a new or updated record enters this view here, and then it simply adds it to that auto list in Metricool, and then it updates the record in Airtable to published. So if we jump back over to Metricool and I jump over to the auto list, once this automation runs, it will automatically show up here in Metricool to be published on this schedule here. So if I refresh the auto list here, we can see that the video that we had defined in Airtable, remember we gave it a title of the title of the video and we can see here the video itself, the one that we uploaded. You can see it's loaded up here into Metricool. And if we adjust this time here to just a few minutes from now and we jump over to our dev YouTube channel and we refresh, we can actually see that video being uploaded into YouTube. And if we jump back over to Airtable, we also have the automation that allows us to schedule a video on a specific date. If I came back to the inbox here, I could go to a specific video and I could use this date and move the status to auto post scheduled. And it's going to trigger this zap automation instead, which is very similar to the other one. But instead, it actually schedules the post instead of sending it to an auto list. But it triggers the same way and it updates the record in Airtable the same way. And you can see it also uploaded that thumbnail that we provided. And one final thing to note is that after it uploads the video, it marks the status as published. So if we come over here to the content library, which is really a view that just shows all of the content, we can see the video that we just published here and the status has been moved to published. And it's worth noting here that I have this content library view here, which is just always showing us all of the content in the system. So we can really start to build a library of all of our content and it's just ordering it by the ID. So the most recent piece of content will always be on the top. And if you're interested in getting your hands on this Airtable database that I just showed you and all of the zaps that I used to connect Airtable to frame.io, to Google Drive, and also to Metricool, I put a link in the description below that will take you to a course that will help you install this in under an hour. It even gives you access to a community where you can ask me questions as you install it. Check it out and I'll see you in the next video.